Guten Tag, Antelo. I'm live from Dragon Zeta Name and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We are still in the A Woman's Lot DLC and right now our dear daddy -o has a surprise for us. Hopefully it's not more crime that this family commits. That would be awesome. What about that surprise? What about that surprise you promised me this morning? Well, I won't keep you in suspense any longer. Besides, you deserve it, after helping us with that silver. I agree. So, <laughs> I had a dress made for you in Rate. A very fine dress indeed. You'll be the prettiest lass in the village. A new dress, Pa. But... I don't understand. Why? Well... You know... You're not a little girl anymore. You're a young woman now, mature and clever. Cleverer than me, for sure. Definitely. You surely don't want to live here at the mill forever. Samuel's uh, able to take care of himself, and after all that's happened, you don't want to end up with the kind of life me and Steeble have. What is it, Pa? Why does Steeble not, not have a wife? Though? Look, Teresa, you're old enough to be married. It's about time we did something about it. You're right. I should get married. I'm all... Honestly, more of a blazer and pantsuit person myself. Me get married? Never. I don't understand. I don't want to get married, but I'd like to see that dress. <laughs> um, all of these answers are not really great. Um, I don't understand. What are you saying? I don't understand. I don't want to get married yet. Ah, oh, my little girl. Matrimony is a gift from God. Yes, but... But I don't have a suitor. Oh, but you do. A very good one, too, believe me. What? You've offered my hand to someone? Who is it? Don't worry. He's a decent man. A nice man. He's even close to the nobility. And he's rich. He'll take care of you. There's going to be a fete at the tavern this evening. Sir Radzi gave permission for a pig roast, and... Who is it? <laughs> you can just have a chat, dance a little, and who knows? You might like him. Are you going to tell me who it is? It's Chief Engineer Tobias. Tobias Fafer? Oh, oh. Aye, that's right. Okay. No offence, but Fafer is a bit over the hill. Are you joking? I'm kind of curious now. How old is Teresa supposed to be? Is there like in like a codex entrance where I can look that up? I mean, in the real world, I would guess probably like between 14 to 17, maybe. But in the game, it looks more like early 20s, maybe 18, 19. I don't know. No offense, but Faithar is a bit over the hill. Well, Master Faithar is a nice man. Yes, Pa. And certainly rich. But he's no spring chicken. To tell the truth, he'd never have crossed my mind when it comes to marriage. Listen, we can talk it over, but the decision is mine to make. You've got to think of your future, Teresa. Master Fafar is a respected man. And that respect will extend to his wife and children, too. Children? For heaven's sake, lass, don't be so naive. You were born a girl, and raising a family is what God made you for. Unless you'd prefer the convent. Go to the tavern this evening and let Master Fafer spend a nice pile of groschen on you. You'll have a great time, you'll see. <laughs> Show me that dress, then. It's in the trunk here under the window. Once you've done all your chores, get dressed up and off you go. Oh, uh, I don't think I have any chores left. What if I just leave this dirty dress on? Woo! Woo! Love and marriage go together like a All right, Teresa. Carriage. Time to grow up, put on that lovely dress, and go and meet your groom. Well, there's no point in dragging it out. She looks quite young. Mm -hmm. 
But now that we know that she supposedly should have gone to Master Fafa, why is is that a thing that will come up again in in the normal game too? Because she's still around, Master Fafa is still around, so. But I guess she probably won't get any money from her father now, so. Did Johanka make it with uh, Matthias? Let's show how super old he is. Ooh. She's running away. Where are you going, Teresa? Pa will turn my hide for not going to that dance. Oh well, I'd better see him and face the music. Oh, so you just didn't go. All right. I mean, I, I understand. Feed the dog, feed the chickens. Talk to daddy. Spishek Spis doesn't seem to feel good, but I don't care. <laughs> About yesterday. Where did you get to yesterday? Master Fafer was here. He said he waited all evening and you didn't show up. Of course I didn't go. I didn't go, no. Well, that much I figured out. Have you any idea how I felt? With some old man waiting there who I hardly know, who wants to marry me? It's the way of the world, Teresa. Fafer is a wealthy man. He'd take good care of you. And in a year or two, I'd be a rich widow? Is that what it's all about? Don't I mean... you care at all what I want? <laughs> Everything isn't about money, father. You ought to know that yourself. Would you rather have money or have Ma back again? Enough! You will not speak like that to your father. You'll go there today if I have to drag you. Master Fafar is paying for the whole tavern for two days. And you don't even show your face there. The shame of it. One day you'll realize I only want the best for you. But... And now enough of your defiance. I don't want to hear another word. Now go to the blacksmith for those nails. Right away. I want to know what the hell is going on with this chick. Oh, Henry gave him a beating, right? I remember what happened. Mother of God, what happened to you? What do you think? I was attacked, that's what, by that horse on Henry. God in heaven, like little boys. Mm. You're nicely bruised. Do something about it. I'm bleeding. Show me nope. that. God damn it, Teresa. Wait, I'll get you a bandage. I won't lift a finger for the likes of you. Yep. Whoa there, laddie. If you want something from me, ask politely. I'm not your servant. Will you bandage it for me, please? With your attitude, you'd better learn to heal yourself. I've half a mind to slap you. Yep, please. Fine, I'll get you a bandage. I'd leave you to bleed, but I'd only regret it later. Fool that I am. Wait here and I'll get you a bandage. Um, I'm guessing they don't have any in the house. Oh yeah, we do. Alrighty. Spishek. Even though I don't like you, and even though I know you will be an asshole to Henry, still gonna be kind of nice. Show me that. I'll bandage it for you. I've got something here. Get on with it then. Oh, he's such an asshole. Enough of your impudence. What were you lot fighting about anyway? That bunch of vandals was throwing manure at the Deutsch's house. And when Hans shouted at them to stop, they attacked us. The fuckers. Manure, eh? That explains your new fragrance. 
ha, ha. Fucking hilarious. But I'll get I like them Teresa. Back. Don't you worry. Yeah, God yeah. Have mercy. You boys are never happy unless you're fighting. Now go and lie down in the mill for a while. You won't get much work done in that state. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I know I've harked a lot on this game for portraying women in a very boring and sometimes even aggravating way. And even though this should make me happy, it doesn't because... I don't know. It just doesn't feel honest to me. But Teresa is definitely um, the most interesting female character this, this game has to offer. And this is now, now it's the time where Henry ogles her ass. Even though Bianca's his girlfriend, but I guess Henry doesn't care. Oh, seeing the dad again, I like the dad. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. What about those nails, Henry? Here you are. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? I hear you had a disagreement with Sibishek in Deutsch. Nah, uh, a little. Sorry, it got a bit out of hand. No need to apologize. I hope that idiot Zabishek got what he had coming. I can't stand him. Well, I thought since he's from the mill too. Well, he's you thought wrong. Ass. He's a pig. Or that. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. That was a weird cut, but okay. Is this the attack already? Červená se jablíčko zahráce nám zdálo. Můj milej nic nevidí, na něj, že se smálo. Ztratilo se jablíčko v travičce vysoké. Můj milej ho nenajde, bude ho mít jiné. Rozběhlo se jablíčko ze stráně u řeky. Můj milej ho nechytí, uplave na věky. I got goosebumps. That gave me goosebumps. Not gonna lie. That was a good scene. He's an asshole. Let go of me! No, 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 no. Get off me! You bastard! Please, stop! 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 Stop!
I didn't do that in the in the in the beginning of the game. Also, didn't need to see almost sexual assault. Was no need for that. Can I stab that guy in the neck, please? I want to stab that guy in the neck. See, I can do stealth skills. <laughs> can I stealth skill? Yes! Also, can I please put on his clothes? Because, you know... I'm just gonna take everything, but I probably can't put it on because that's men's clothing and as we know, Teresa cannot put on men's clothing, even though that would be kind of logical here just to disguise herself, but... We are still gonna go with the... Uh... Oh yeah, give me the give me the money, I that's my money, or my dad's money. Alrighty, uh, where are we going, Teresa? We don't have that many options. Also, Henry al already rode away. I can I can sleep here. I cannot get out that way. <gasps> what? Crawl through window? What window? Oh, that window. Okay. Oh, oh, Doggo! Hi, Doggo! Ah! Oh no, where am I going? What am I doing? Ow! Ow, 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 ow! I don't think this is a good idea! Adam! This will kill me. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I might die. I might... I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die so bad. I'm gonna die. I will need to do this again. I'm dying. I'm dead. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't see that I could... Uh, that I could crawl through that window. That would have helped. Okay. Okay, we're back. We're still gonna kill that guy though. Because fuck him. Yep. And this time we're gonna go through that window a little bit faster, but we're still gonna take everything he has. Alright, crawl through that window, Teresa. And then I guess we'll try... Samuel. Oh my god, I hope he's safe. Oh yes. I've got Samuel. to find him. Get to the mines, find Samuel. Oh my god, do not do this to me again, game. Oh, hi, doggo. Oh, Samuel. I'm guessing he's dead, right? Because he isn't with Teresa when Henry finds her, so... It is just logical that he's dead. God, have mercy. I'll never make it past them. I hope Sammy's found somewhere to hide. All I'll right. have to try a different entrance. Yeah, that... Doesn't seem like there's anyone here, though. So, go in through here. Bye, doggo, I know you can't come in the mines. Sakura, there's no way through here. God damn it. I'll have to find another way. Alright. I think this is the stealth section. I need to go through this part of the village and I really don't like it. But I do like that uh, that Teresa is such a badass in this. At least as much as this game allows badassery in Teresa. Okay, there's another dude that I probably have to stealth kill.
Besorás. Are you fucking kidding me? Kedvem lenne valakiből kiverni a lelket. Ow. Ow. Dog, please help. Okay. Still somehow managed to do it, but I'm probably gonna be dead soon. Are there humans here? Oh no, is that Samuel? Maybe stop barking, dog. Oh, 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 you. Teresa? Oh. So he didn't die. <laughs> He's still breathing. You piece of shit. Okay, go on. I told you to fucking die. <laughs> Where's Samuel, guys? Please. Teresa. What well, thank Christ you made it. What about your pa and Steeble? Nope. Oh. Have you seen Samuel? Yes, he's inside. But but listen, Teresa. They cut him up real bad. We'll and... take you to him. It ain't safe out here. Cool. God damn it. God damn it. Oof. I wish that stealth part wasn't hadn't been so excruciating. Cruciating. That was not fun. Otherwise, this scene would have had more impact. Fritz, I think. Go and tell the others. We'll set off in a while, as soon as the sun sets. We should barricade the passage behind us in case any of those fuckers follow us. Yeah, do that. Teresa, Samuel, Samuel's lying over there. Uh. Uh, <laughs> I want to ask you something. First, I want to ask you about something. What happened to Samuel? What happened to Samuel? I'm not sure. I wasn't there when it happened. But he must have been here in the mine when they came in. He's lucky he got out of it alive. Yeah, the others weren't so lucky. Okay, I'm gonna go Thank to you. Samuel. I'll go to my brother. Oh, Don't leave without us. Poor Sam. Samuel, you're alive. When I saw you lying there all still and... I thought... Zarita, help me. Please. I'm hurt. Yeah, something awful. Where does it hurt? Where does it hurt? Every... Everywhere. It's bad. Teresa. Sammy, what is it? Teresa. I don't want it to die. Oh, Sammy, you're not going to die. I won't let you die. I'm here with you. Show me that wound. Show me that wound. Yeah. It's it's bad, isn't it? Um I'll tell you, no. It's looking better! It's not as bad as it looks, Sammy. You'll be alright. Your guardian angel was watching over you. You lost a lot of blood, but the bleeding stopped. You'll be alright. If you... If you say so, sister. How did it happen? Those heathens... Cut us off. 
in the shaft before we knew what was going on they were already inside it was awful we couldn't see a thing and we we had to get past them and one of them got me I didn't even see him coming it was so dark shouting and screaming there now Sammy it's alright now you got away from them yeah those bastards were more interested in the silver what, what about Pa and, and Steve or where are they um they are right they they hit we split up but I saw them running to safety. Nothing... Nothing can hurt them now. Maybe... Maybe they'll have better luck than me. Listen, Samuel. We've got to get out of here. It'll be getting dark outside, and we won't get a better chance. I, I don't know if I can. But you're right. If the bleeding has stopped, let's go. But... We've got to find Stibor and Pa. When? When did you see him last? Maybe... Maybe there are... There's no time for that now. I'll tell you everything as soon as we get out of here. Come on. The others are waiting by the entrance to the mine. Come on. I'll help you. Does he... Does he make it? I thought I would tell him everything is alright because... I thought he was gonna die anyway. Which is nice of me, but... <laughs> oh, he won't be able to make the trek, will he? Which way do you want to go? We'll try going past Rovna. It seems there's not so many of them that way. But Teresa, what about Samuel? Samuel? He'll come with us, of course. Teresa... He can hardly stand on his feet. He's lost a lot of blood. What are you saying? He's a tough one, I can't deny. But we'll have to be quick on our feet, and Samuel would hold us back. Matthew! Surely you don't expect me to leave him here? It's your decision, Teresa. I'm just telling you how things are. And I'm afraid, even if he did go with us, he'd never survive the journey. I'm sorry. We'll carry him. We'll all stay then. Go for help and I'll stay here with him. Yeah. Then you go. And I'll stay here. Send help as soon as you get to Tarnberg. Are you sure, Teresa? You ought to go with us. Nope. I can't leave Sammy here, Matthew. He's all I have left. I'll nurse him and we'll wait till morning. You get to safety and tell them what happened here. Sir Devish of Tomberg is a good friend of Sir Radzik's. He'll do what he can to help. It seems there's no change in your mind. There are torches in the mine, and you should still be able to find some water for bathing Sammy's wounds. You should change his bandages too. Thanks, Matthew. Theresa, if... May the Lord watch over you. Matthew. I'll send some help back from Tarnberg. I sure hope so. Stay out of sight. I still think Sammy's dead. That he dies, at least. Damn. That's harsh. That's real harsh. So yeah, I thought we would uh, end the, the DLC, or this part of the DLC today, but apparently there's still a little bit more and I'm already gone over uh, over my usual time limit. So we are going to do 
the rest in the next episode and treat Samuel there and probably meet Henry again because we know that Teresa is here when he comes back to Scarlet. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what I do, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye bye. Auf Wiedersehen.